Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. All right, we're going against pretty rough seas right now. We got to go save this Lou. Oh, that is insane looking. All right, we need to get to this lifeboat. We need to connect it. Oh, we almost got knocked off. Wait, what is happening? No, 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 no. Oh, we're about to go underwater. Okay, hold, hold your breath. Hello, YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back, and today is Sinking Tuesday. So we're going to be checking out a very, very awesome advanced ship. It does look a little bit laggy right now, but it should get better once we get out to sea. But this thing is a, I guess it's just called a passenger ship, but to me it's like a little mini cruise liner. Uh, this thing looks absolutely amazing. It's an advanced ship, and we are going to try to survive on this thing. So as always, I'm going to link the ship down in the description if you want to download this thing and try survival yourself. You can do that. Uh, the ship is called the, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm not even going to say that, but that's the ship's name. But yeah, I think we're ready to go. If you guys have any suggestions for Sinking Ship Survival, comment below. And if you're enjoying Sinking Tuesdays, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's go figure out how to start this thing up. All right, I can already see it now. I see the lifeboats. It looks like they use the railing system, so they slide off the ship. Uh, that's going to be one solution. Now, we had a little discussion last episode about am I able to use diving equipment if it's aboard the ship and I got mixed responses some people said if there's a lifeboat uh, you can't use the diving equipment so I think we're gonna go with that uh, most people didn't have a problem with it but I kinda wanna make the uh, the element of survival a thing I don't wanna sit there and just put diving equipment on and be good to go alright we need to locate the engine room real quick Ah, right, here we go actually just located scuba gear there's diving equipment looks like a firefighter gear all right, uh, this appears to be a storage room, so I think uh, it's very possible we're close. Nope, I guess not. <laughs> That's the front of the ship. We've, uh, maybe we're above the engine room. Actually, I think it would be morely towards the back. Let's go that way. All right, so we're down in the ship. I see piping here, so follow the piping. Uh, okay, actually, it looks like a washroom. <laughs> Never mind, maybe we don't follow the piping. Let's go. Ah, here we go. This is probably going to be it here. Let's get the lights on. Oh, dear. That's a lot of buttons. Is there an actual view of the engine, though? Uh, oh, here it is. Hold on. What are we dealing with here? Oh, buddy. All right. So I read some of the instructions. I believe we just need to turn on some sort of... Uh, there should be pumps, but I think actually all the controls are above us. This is literally just the engine itself. Uh, all the uh, actual buttons are up here. So let's go up here again. All right, exhaust pumps are on. Okay, so those are good to go. Should there is there a fuel pump or is this like a generator? Okay, that's the generator. Clutch on the engines. Backlights, turn those on. Uh, fill the fuel valve. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to fuel valves on here. All right, so ignitions. Okay, I do have an idle. Uh, idle. Okay, everything seems to be on. They don't seem to be shutting off, so that's a very good thing. All right, do I need to clutch these? Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and push in the clutch on each side. All right, we are still idling. Engine temperatures look good. Uh, what is this? Generator clutch. Let's go ahead and do these real quick. That way, make sure we're powering up the, uh, the generators, keeping the batteries good. All right, so I think, in theory, we should be able to go up to the bridge, and we should be able to throttle forward and be okay. All right, that's a... Pretty cool little startup procedure. I'm pretty impressed. By the way, while we're down here, let's go ahead and peek in. These all look like little uh, crew cabins. Yeah. Okay, let's go back up top. All right, so we need to locate where the bridge is. Uh, how do we get up to it? Probably up this, isn't it? Oh, man, this is glorious looking. I uh, got like a little sky roof here. All right, here are the connectors. Now, I think on the instructions it said you don't have to connect the lifeboats uh, to go out. So they are fine setting where they are at the current moment. Uh, but if we need to escape, of course, we'll have to connect them and lower them. Okay, running lights are on. All right, so here's all the clutches. Okay, so it's got it very neatly uh, lined up here. Uh, I guess we're ready to go. Can I just push forward here? Is there a foghorn? Actually, no, I can't. I don't wonder if I should have throttled those up down there. Hold on, throttle all up. Click that. Ah... There we go. Ooh, this ship kind of moves for as big as it is. Look at that. That thing cruises fairly fast. That's impressive. 
Alright, so as far as the sinking procedure on this, of course we could always take damage. Uh, I don't know how the hole looks. It's probably compartment. Yeah, there's compartments here. Uh, I don't know how much damage you'd have to take. Uh, most likely we're going to have to have big waves. And I think the little vents up here in the front, that's where the water comes in. And that will flood the ship. So you kind of have two options here. Now the creator said the ship is pretty unique where it floods. Uh, depending on which compartments fill up. But it does take a little bit to actually sink. So this is going to be one where we're going to have to do a stress test. And we're going to have to try to actually flood the vents in order to get it to go down. Now I still want to go ahead and say that is still pretty dynamic. I'm still not going to click a button and say hey sink but I might have to uh, depending on how fast it's going down I might have to have leave a door open uh, in order to initiate the survival I just won't keep up to date uh, with what's going on that way it kind of happens dynamic alright so what is beyond the engine room here I love the way this ship looks okay this leads us off that way there is a uh, there's a little room up there we'll have to see what that is uh, waffle ships this appears to be Probably the captain's quarters or either that or I guess whoever's up here at the time Of course the captain wouldn't probably be up here 24 7. Maybe they would uh switch the shifts out uh, Let's see this leads down. Oh look at this. What is this? Is this like a bar or something? Kind of looks like a little bar area. I think that's what it is. All right, so maybe this is like first class Actually, that is a toilet. Yep. We got a toilet over here where are we? Are we in just like... This looks like a general living quarters. But there are crew... I don't even know if I want to call them crew cabins since it is a passenger ship. Uh, there's cabins below us. I'm trying to figure out if this is like a first class or what this is. Ah, uh, definitely. These are all cabins here. So we got like a first class area. Leads off this way. This thing is actually quite huge. Ooh, these are really nice cabins. I like these. Got kind of a view there. Alright, so we got those. Uh, the sides lead out, so I, I'm assuming we go down here and this will be like maybe second class? Uh, so first class, second class, I don't know if there's a third class. Yeah, these are all of the cabins. This is actually not too far from the engine room. Yeah, the engine room's right up here. So can we go even lower in this ship? Or are all the guts down here? Probably just the guts are down here, Hans. Oh, I don't want to fall down and die. Yeah, this looks like just the guts. Oh, and open this. Uh, oh. Actually, we're on the opposite side of the engine now. This thing is impressive. Check out this engine setup. There's a large batteries. Uh, I forgot how many diesel motors it was. I see four there, but I thought maybe it was more. Is this the uh, possibly the fuel? Actually, where is the fuel at? Uh, I don't even see any water or anything coming through, so I can't tell. Uh, it's just an impressive setup overall. Really like that. Okay, here's the back part of the ship. This. Wait, does this thing have a gel on it? Oh, it does! Save any of the passengers or the crew are misbehaving, you can stick them in a jail. That is a first. I don't think I've ever seen that on one of these ships. That's pretty impressive. I like this a lot. And then here's the... Okay, this is like the medical bay. Medical bay. and looks like a common area or something right over here. Alright, let's make sure we get all the lights on in this thing. Alright, so we're back up to the front of the ship. It looks like we have a gym area. I haven't seen that before. Uh, gym and a what the heck is this? Is this like a server room or something? What is this, guys? Do you you guys know? Uh, keypads. I wonder if I entered something in. Does it do anything? No, let's just enter something in. One, two, three, four. Boom. Nothing. Huh. I don't know what that is. Maybe a locker area, possibly. All right, back up to the bridge. We got one more area to check out. Let's go ahead and do that. Make sure we are not heading towards any islands. Nope, looks like clear sailing. We are in fairly deep water, so we're almost ready to initiate the survival portion. Uh, what is this up here? Is this an additional wheelhouse or what? The heck is this? Is this a part of the... Are we by the stack? Huh. What is this part of the ship? I have no clue. Uh, looks like a little... I mean, it's got something going on here. I just don't know really what it is. It looks like some sort of exhaust area. All right, well, that could mean an escape point. If everything goes really wrong, <laughs> we could probably use that. Oh, let's go down here and check out the lifeboats real quick, figure out how to work these. Uh, looks like, uh, is this universal? Is it both sides? Hold on, this might work both sides here. Let's see, connectors. Oh, it does. You know, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Normally, you have to work each side manually. 
Uh, but you only have to work one and you'll catch both boats. So that's in. Uh oh, no, we want to keep those. Oh, no, 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 keep them in, keep them in, keep them in. Okay, that's what helps push them. So you would want to go down, connect, and then push them out and drop them. Well, I guess you'd want to probably lower them a little bit. All right, so I think we have learned everything that we can learn about this ship. I think we are pretty much ready to go here. Let's kick it up a couple notches. All right, here we go. We are starting to eat into the waves here. Man, that is so... That's just cool looking. I love the way this ship looks. Like, it looks like it's old, but it seems like it has some sort of modern amenities. Uh, I don't know if this is actually based on a real-life ship, but if it is, I probably wouldn't mind actually uh, getting on this. What is that? Is that something we missed? This big wood piece. Uh, is that maybe where you board at? I think that actually folds down and maybe out. That's possibly what that is. Uh, <laughs> not really sure. All right. We're in pretty rough seas. I feel like we can kick this up even more. This thing's handling these waves really good. Uh, let's go to... You know what? Let's just go ahead and go to the 100. Let's see what the 100's got. I don't know. Depending on how deep we are and where we're positioned, uh, these waves could be monsters or they could be... Uh, they could be lame. Actually, these are monsters. Oh, these are pretty good. Oh, jeez. Look at that. The whole back of the ship's already down. All right. So we need to probably turn here on... Let's... Uh, Oh, actually, this thing... Oh, that whole back of the ship... Oh, no, 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 We don't want to go over yet. All right, we got to fight this. Is that door closed? Okay, it's just a brown door. It looked like it was open. All right, so let's fight this. We're going along with the waves. I see an island up there, so we need to track a little more southwest here. That way we don't get in the shallow water. Uh, that way we can test this thing out. All right. So, should we kick it up even more insane? Should we go with the storm? You know, I've been tempted to do a tsunami. We normally only do the tsunamis in multiplayer. But I've kind of wanted to do one in sinking ships of problem. Maybe we'll hold off. We'll just let this thing sink. I don't want to tip it over. At least not with a tsunami. If it happens with one of these waves, I'll be fine. Folks, it looks like we are popping a willy right now. What is this? What the heck? I don't know. This thing kind of hits the waves a little weird. Like, the back end of the ship typically... Look at that. The back end of the ship's completely underwater right now. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, maybe 100%'s too much. No! Did we just lose a lifeboat? We just lost a lifeboat. Folks, that's not good. I thought it... Oh, maybe we do have to connect them. All right, we need to go save the lifeboat. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, let's do this. All right, we're going against pretty rough seas right now. We got to go save this... Ooh! Oh, that is insane looking. All right, we need to get to this lifeboat. We need to connect it. Uh, oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's go. Move, 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 move. We got a limited opportunity here. I can't believe it. I thought maybe you didn't have to connect it, but apparently you do. Okay, connector's on. Okay, go down. Okay, lifeboat is connected. Okay, uh, turn that off. Okay, uh, wait. It's only connected in the rear. Uh huh. Let's go down. Come on. Can I grab that? Uh -huh. Push this over. Connect it. There we go. All right, lifeboats are connected, so we should be good to go there. Lead connectors on. Okay, turn that up. All right, let's go ahead and make this thing go up. Winch up. Uh, how are we looking back here? Uh, oh, no, no. How much? Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, get down. Oh, I don't even know what I, I wasn't even speaking English there. I was just speaking gibberish. Oh, uh, we almost got knocked off. Wait, what is happening? No, 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 no. Oh, we're about to go underwater. Okay, hold, hold your breath. Hold your breath. Okay, we're good. Oh, no, no, no. This thing has a tendency how far it leans back. If you jump up, you almost get launched off it. Uh-oh, uh I think the waves are turning us right now. Okay. On, right, stay down. Crouching's the best uh, way to... Oh, no. Oh, oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's get back up to the bridge. We have one lifeboat now. Uh, does that mean we can take the diving equipment now? <laughs> All right, doors are closed. We're fighting it. Check, uh... Wow, we really got turned. We're going northeast now. How the heck did that happen? Uh, where was the island at? Hold on, let's look out. Oh, this is not for the people who get easily seasick. <laughs> this is great. Uh, I'm already digging this one a lot. All right, we need to go check the lower compartments real quick. All right, doing a wellness check on the engine. Looks like we're good to go here. Let's go and check systems. Uh, engine status, fuel, air, exhaust, electric, coolant are all green. All right, so we're not overheating, even though it's pushing right now. All right, we're good there. 
Man, it's bad when you see the water line this high up. <laughs> okay. Oh, we need to close some of these doors. Uh, we gotta keep fighting. Looks like we're trekking. This is the way the waves wanted us to go. Uh, there's that island we were looking at earlier. I don't know what island that is. Yeah, this is the way the waves want us to go right now. This is the way they turned us. And I guess this is where we're gonna fight it. Now, there is some islands in the area that I can see, so... Those are potential, uh, escape points. Uh, it's getting later in the day. Actually, I don't feel bad about doing this more at night. This ship's actually pretty well lit. Like, I can pretty much see everything. Plus, you have the epic lightning in the background. Alright, she's holding up pretty good right now. I'm still seeing a ton of water spill up in its exhaust. Uh, we are coming up to what appears to be the industrial, like, one of the factory islands. We probably need to turn off to the right here. Uh, because as soon as you get really close to the islands, the waves, they kind of get, I don't know, they, they get smaller. I guess because it's more shallow in that area. So we definitely don't want to do that. So we're going to turn off. Uh, we're going to use the moon as the guide. Let's just go ahead and head kind of towards it. And we should be good to go here. Wait, what was that? I just heard a magnet click. Why is there a magnet clicking? Where did that come from? Wait. Ship? Uh, why did those disconnect? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Han. Stay down. Stay down. Don't get washed over. What the heck's up with this? Why did those... Oh, no, 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 no. Did we lose power to something? Uh, battery, 0 0.50. We got battery. What is, uh... Oh, what's going on here? Connectors. C connectors? There's battery in the... Uh-oh. Are we leaking water somewhere? Did we just... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we still have the emergency battery. We need to go to, down to the engine room, I think. Uh, oh, this thing is leaning. Come on. All right, make it through. All right, let's get down to the engine room real quick. Why did we lose power there is the question. All right, we're in the engine room. Let's check. Okay, so door backups have plenty of power. 0 0.74 that should last us. Uh, main power is up. What actually connects to... Okay, generator clutches are good. Fuel, we have plenty of fuel. Uh, engine temperatures look good. Why the heck would we be having an issue with the battery up there? Where is that battery source at? Uh, that's a good question. Is this? No, we're still seeing the gas tank, I think. On. On, dip through here? Are we good? Are we, are we good? Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. Uh, let's go to the back here. Jeez, we're going to wind up losing that lifeboat. Okay, where is that equipment room at? I think the rule is if we lose the lifeboat, we can go to the equipment room. Actually, is this it? Uh, oh, it's the jail. How did I already lose the equipment room? This boat's almost too big for me. Oh, boy. All right, so one of the first things we saw when we walked on this boat was that storage room. Now, where is that at? Actually, we still have another lifeboat, but we have no way of deploying it. It would have to naturally fall off, wouldn't it? Actually, are these powered? Oh, man. Those do have actual engine power to them. Okay, that's still an option. Let's just hope it sets on deck. Uh, man, is the water line getting higher, or what's the deal here? I think we're good. Okay, let's see. Uh oh island dead ahead. Oh, oh, shifting. Oh, here comes the water. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, where is that storage room? Uh-oh. Oh, close that. Close that. We're taking water from the exhaust. Wait, no, that's not the close. Wait, where's the actual toggle button on this? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall in here. Don't fall in here. No, no, no. Uh, we are taking on water. It's definitely coming from the hatch. It's flooding over from those, uh, that exhaust. Where is the button on this? Is it on the backs? Okay, toggle button. Uh, uh highlight the toggle button. No, I don't want to get killed here in the door. There we go. Sealed. Okay, we sealed the front end. Uh, oh, we got water in here. Yeah, I think finally those front waves, they couldn't take possibly the exhaust. I don't know. Okay, I think we're good. I think we sealed it. All right, definitely our front end got drugged down there. The water line is up to the helm here. So, yeah, we, uh, oh, this is close. Uh, uh, why, how the heck have I lost that storage room? Where is that thing? Uh, now's probably the time we want to start alerting the cabins that, uh, we are about to be evacuating the ship. It's abandoned ship time. 
Unfortunately, we did lose uh, one of the lifeboats, so yeah, good luck with that. Uh, okay, let's check under here. How are we looking? Do we have water? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is that water? Is that coming this way? I don't know. The, the graphical glitches get a little weird with the water, so I can't tell where it actually is. Okay, I think we were just seeing the water that was in the front. I think we're actually good. Hold on, step down here. Any water in the engine room? No. What about towards the front? Uh, just a pinch, looks like. Okay, we're good. Uh, we're still weathering the storm here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, that's so creepy. All right, power is gone. Power is... Uh-oh. All right, it's time to go. It's time to go. I have to use my flashlight. That kind of scared me. It made me jump slightly. Uh, actually, okay, here we go. Here's how we get up. All right, it's time to get out of the ship. Power's off. Uh, we got the backup for the doors on, so we're good to go there. We need to get up to... Actually, no, let's get up to the front. We'll exit at the top. Oh, man, there is water in here. Okay, it is time to go. Engines have shut off. Uh, are we... Hold on, let's check. Are we... Oh, yeah, we're going down. All right, it is time to go. Open that. Nope. Okay, close that. Can we exit out the back here? Uh, what about this one? Uh, two-sided. Okay. Two-sided. Which one of these? Okay, we got to open it. Uh, this is going to make this sink faster. Let's go boom and boom. Okay, we're off this. Oh, the back of the ship is coming up. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, hopefully the sun comes up soon. Oh, wait. I forgot about this. Hold on. Push it. Push the boat. Uh, now it's stuck on the thing. Okay, so is the battery completely dead? No, the batteries are not dead on these. Why do these not work? Oh, uh, we might have to actually go down with the ship. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, nope, ship's definitely going down now. Okay. Climb up into this. Hold on. Actually, I can grab the handle. Uh, can I actually move it? No, it's too heavy. All right, hold on. Get up in it. Uh, get up in the lifeboat. Oh, buddy. Dude, there's an island right there. Were we really tracking towards an island like that? I did not know that. Okay, release. Uh, how do you crank this thing up? Throttle. Uh, where's the engine start? I see the throttle on it. Does it... Okay, charge. Left, right. Uh, throttle. Is it like electric or something? Are the propellers actually moving? Hold on, throttle's all the way up. Check the propeller. Uh, oh, it is moving. Okay, I don't know how that works. It's like they were already powered up. It's like it's electric or something. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I need this thing to move. I really wish I could move this thing off the ship right now. Wait a minute. I just have thought. If there's an island right there, why don't I swim? Wait. Did we actually get saved by basically blind luck? I didn't even know we were heading towards this. If the engine wouldn't have shut off, we would have ran into that island. Oh, here comes the water. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. That's definitely the water. Come on. Let's hold on to this. See if we can get this boat out here. Yeah, if we would have continued to go and the engine and the power wouldn't have killed itself when it did, we would have ran right into an island. Oh, and here comes the boat. Uh, nope, still attempting. It's actually probably not even that deep here. How lucky are we that we ran basically into an island, the engine shuts off, it starts to sink, but it's not too deep, and we can literally get over to the land there and we'll be fine. Oh, man, I don't think it gets better than that, actually. Oh, getting thrown around a little bit here. Uh, let's see if we can try one more time to just at least push this boat off. Ah, there. I think it's going. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, it's starting to... Oh, I think we're losing her. All right. Uh, on, get back on the boat. On, before... Oh, it's throttle's going to be... What was that noise? Something just opened. Uh, do we have a possessed ship? Actually, I don't wonder if maybe some of the doors open because the battery just ran out. Uh, I don't know if they slide open or not. Actually, there's a ladder right here I should probably use. All right, we're back in the boat, waiting for it to fall off the ship here. Oh, oh, there it goes. Of course it's going to fall off like that. Oh, well. Oh, I think the ship's going down. Hold on, let's get away from the ship. Uh, I guess we don't really need the lifeboat. Oh, look at that. The door did collapse in. Yeah, when the power uh, went off, yeah, the doors just, they go. Oh, and you can see whatever that was on the side, that's loose now, too. So, yeah, ship lost all emergency power. It's going down, but thankfully we have an island right here. Man, that is pure luck. Yeah, that wasn't even that deep of a sink. We got lucky there. Like, very, very lucky. There we go, man. This is polar opposite of last week. Last week was depressing. 
how that ended, how we got stuck in a portion of it and we couldn't escape it and we went under, this is way better. I must say, I actually really liked that one. That was a fun sink. Uh, it wasn't something too devastating. It was pretty scary being under there as the lights went off and killed the power, but thankfully we hit that switch. Now, if that would have happened, we didn't hit that emergency switch, it might would have been like last week and we would have been stuck there and we would have been basically in a coffin. Uh, thankfully, like I said, we were pretty shallow, so we probably could have been rescued there. But I think I'm pretty happy with the way we got out on this one today, folks. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up in this episode of Sinking Ship Survival. Thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. And we will see you guys next time in Stormworks.